I um, am one of three daughters and uh, in our family, and our father wanted us to be very independent, afraid of nothing, willing to do anything within reason, and always asking why and very curious, and, and trying to find the right answers and think globally. I grew up in a time of a lot of social unrest and the desire to you know, contribute somehow to vectoring the world, or at least our country. So when I came to college, I thought that I would like to study economics. And once I took my first physics class, even though the professor was so boring compared to the economics professors that we had had, it just seems so beautiful, the fact that the world could be described by these laws and that, that, that you could unite the motion of particles with the motion of a system, that quantum mechanics, you know, statistical physics, it all just seems so beautiful. It totally entranced me, and I really moved into physics. I'm the deputy section manager for the communication architectures and research section we bring home both the science data and also the spacecraft telemetry data telling us how the spacecraft is performing. Our systems are far more sensitive than any Earth communication system or even geostationary communication systems. It's working with this very dynamic, very, uh, very multinational group of people, very, a wide range, a wide, type of people and to make these ideas that, that we all have and that they have, make them see light in terms of affecting our science missions or pushing forward the technology envelope. Because sometimes it takes a long time to impact a mission, but you can derive a lot of pleasure in seeing an idea come to fruition. One great thing about JPL is that we're all encouraged to think about proposals for the future. What could we do? What would be the next cool thing? To do that, you have to keep thinking about what can you do with your skills, but how does that fit? How does that enable some new science? How does it enable a new engineering mission? You must have a field that you are the queen, the king, the emperor, that you really know what you're talking about. And then from that point, that rock, that foundation, you can branch out into other fields or you try to understand how that field interacts with other disciplines and you can build upon that to gain breadth. But you must have depth at JPL. And I think that's probably a good thing.